Hello there, I'm Tien, and I'm a sound engineer. To all you filmmakers who plan on recording your own sounds, probably because you don't have the budget to hire a proper sound engineer, you must know that the audio quality of your raw recordings has to be of acceptable standard. I'm a DJ. Okay, I'm cool. I'm right here. Because there are certain audio glitches that not even the big studios with all the expensive tools can repair in post-production. I'm a DJ. Okay, I'm cool. I'm right here. Dude, you gotta record this again. So you better record it correctly on the spot, especially if, say, your lead actor couldn't commit to a reshoot. This requires you to know some basic theory in audio recording. But since we're not doing complex setups such as recording an orchestra in surround sound format, I'll make this quick. For the same reason you don't use a webcam to shoot your films, you should not rely on your camera's onboard mic to record the actual audio. It should at most be used to record the reference audio. You have to buy or rent a good microphone. And generally, the more expensive the mic, the more clean and clear you can expect the sound to be. Some mics are built for recording voices in studios, some for recording drums, and no one microphone is good for every scenario. For on-location recording, I recommend you a shotgun mic or a wireless lavalier kit, which is what I'm using right now. Most professional-grade mics use an XLR plug which fits into most professional-grade cameras or into high-end consumer camcorders through a customized adapter. If your camera has no mic inputs at all, you need to use a separate field recorder to record your audio. Still, to get good sound out of this expensive gear, you've got to operate it properly. This is an overexposed picture. It was recorded too bright for the camera's image sensor to handle, and darkening it in post-production won't recover the lost details. On the other hand, this is distorted audio. I'm a DJ. Okay, I'm cool. I'm right here. It was recorded too loud for the audio equipment to handle, and softening it in post-production only makes a crappy sound softer. During the shoot, the volume meter turned red to indicate audio distortion, just as zebra lines indicate overexposed areas of your picture. You need to lower the microphone gain settings even before the recording starts. Do not mistake this for the headphone volume, which only controls how loud you hear it, but not how loud it actually gets recorded. The idea is to capture every sound as loud as possible while avoiding audio distortion. So before you start shooting, get your subject to talk very loudly while you tune the gains to be just before the meters start becoming red so that it will never distort during the actual shoot even when your subject unexpectedly raises his voice I'm a DJ okay I'm cool I'm ready to learn. a wet and echoey sound is much like an out of focus picture while a dry and clear sound like this is to a sharper picture editing tools can make a sharp picture blur or a dry sound wet. But there is a big limitation in the reverse process. Therefore, you want to record the dry sound itself and not its wet echoes. The shotgun mic is ideal for this purpose because it is most sensitive to the direction it is pointed at compared to the echoes coming from the sides. Aiming the microphone is not enough. You still have to place the microphone as close to your subject as possible and in the direction the sound travels. This sounds better, but the mic is in the shot. You can easily move it out of the frame for close-up shots like this. But for wide-angle shots like this, the mic has to go so far just to leave the frame that the sound becomes echoey again. So, you can either hide the microphone behind some nearby object, or simply use a tiny lavalier microphone which is hard to see. Testing. However, you're gonna need more than one for every other person in the shot. Uh, sorry man, none for you. If a video editor tried to edit this shot, there is no way to remove this blocker without also cutting me away. So get lost. The same goes for sounds. Overlapping sounds cannot be separated without compromise. Video guys use green screens to capture a subject because it is easy to remove the green background later. Similarly, audio engineers use voiceover booths because we want to capture the sound and only the sound and not that guy. I need you to shoot. But we don't have a voiceover booth on location, so you better request for silence on the set. I need you to come back for the on location shoot, right? Also, turn off noisy air conditioners. 
put on wind filters on your microphones to break the wind noise and avoid handling noise when dealing with the microphone. If noise pollution cannot be silenced, move to a quieter location. Last but not least, always record one minute of ambient sound for every location. This can be used in post-production to seamlessly tie together scenes shot in different locations. Hey you! Who me? Catch! Hey you! Who me? Catch! Congratulations! You now know how to record a single subject in mono sound. But that's just the easy stuff compared to stereo recording, surround sound recording, drum miking, recording orchestras and rock concerts. I hope this tutorial was helpful and perhaps giving you some interest in further studying the world of audio. Thanks for watching. Oh, gosh. Whew. That was tiring. Uh, you didn't have to, you know. I was using the lavalier the whole time and it's not plugged in. Công ty Tân Đại Dương là một trong những công ty du học đầu tiên và hàng đầu tại Việt Nam, được thành lập bởi đội ngũ các nhà quản lý và tư vấn du học có nhiều năm kinh nghiệm trong ngành giáo dục cũng như được tu nghiệp và đào tạo ở nước ngoài. Với hơn 10 năm kinh nghiệm, Tân Đại Dương tự hào là nhà tư vấn du học chuyên nghiệp cho các du học sinh tại các nước trên thế giới, đặc biệt là Mỹ, Úc, Singapore, Anh Quốc, Hà Lan, Thụy Sĩ, v.v. Cùng với đội ngũ tư vấn viên chuyên nghiệp, chúng tôi cung cấp các dịch vụ uy tín và trọn gói cho ngành du học du lịch Mỹ, bao gồm xử lý chọn bộ hồ sơ đi Mỹ từ A đến Z, kể cả các hồ sơ khó đã từng rớt visa hoặc không đủ tài chính, tư vấn chọn trường tại tất cả các tiểu bang ở Mỹ. Chúng tôi tự hào là đại diện chính thức của hàng trăm trường đại học cao đẳng, trung học phổ thông tại Mỹ. Hướng dẫn các thủ tục xin visa, chứng minh tài chính, hướng dẫn điền form, dạy phỏng vấn du học, du lịch Mỹ. Khai giảng hàng tháng các lớp học phỏng vấn, đảm bảo cho học sinh có được sự tự tin trả lời được mọi câu hỏi của lãnh sự quán. Đặt vé máy bay, sắp xếp nhà ở, ký túc xá cho du học sinh. Với phương châm hoạt động là uy tín, chất lượng và mong muốn định hướng cho học sinh Việt Nam một nền giáo dục tiên tiến, môi trường học tập và sinh hoạt an toàn, Tân Đại Dương cam kết sẽ là người bạn đồng hành cùng học sinh Việt Nam trên đường tới chân trời tri thức. Mọi chi tiết xin liên hệ công ty Tân Đại Dương chuyên du học Mỹ, mặt tiền 148/1 Trần Quang Khải, phường Tân Định, quận Nhất, Thành phố Hồ Chí Minh, điện thoại 08-3848-4879-0989-00690, website www.tandaidương.edu.vn.